friends. Welcome back to my kitchen. It's cold outside. It's snowy. And I want a fresh tomato really bad out of the garden. But there's not any to be had. And I want some fresh greens. And I don't have any of those either. Sometimes I grow those in the lights in my basement. But right now I don't have any going. <clears throat> so what I want to do today is show you how to sprout sprouts in a jar. It's very simple. You don't need a lot. You don't even need any dirt. Um, but it makes a very nutrient-dense nutrient dense, um, little salad you can have. Um, you can put them on sandwiches, soups, salads. I like to make a simple little salad with chickpeas and my sprouts and some dressing that I make. I make my own dressing and we'll do a video on that another time. But it's really simple and once you do it, you will not want to go back to bottom dressing. So anyway... Um, you can sprout with all kinds of sprouts. There's broccoli here. I get mine from Natural Grocers, but there's lots of places that have them. Online you can order them as well. And my gardener has them, I know that. Um, these are brown mustard, so these will be spicy. These are radish, they'll be spicy. Um, these are mung beans, those are really good and they're bigger uh, sprout than the others. And these are clover, really good. Clover actually has a lot of medicinal properties as well. Um, what I'm going to use today is something that I already have open, and it's a three-part. It's alfalfa, clover, and, or no, not clover, alfalfa, radish, and broccoli. So we're going to use this one. Um, so what you'll need is a jar, simple, um, some water, which I use distilled. Use whatever you're comfortable with, but I don't like the chemicals in my water, so I use distilled water. We're going to need some kind of a mesh. I actually cut this out of a paint strainer. Um, a brand new paint strainer bag's never been used for paint. But you can cut mesh, you can get sprouting lids, um, but I just use this with my ring for my wide mouth jar. I do use a wide mouth jar because uh, it just works easier for rinsing the sprouts, but you can use whatever. Um, so we're going to take our jar. I put about that much water in it. We just want to cover the seeds. And I'm going to take about a tablespoon of seeds. I'm just measuring this in my hand. Um, and we're going to put these in the jar. And cover them up. We're going to let them soak for, I don't know, maybe 12 hours. We'll come back this evening um, and we'll see if they've swollen and if they look like they're about to sprout. Because mostly, uh, all it requires to do this is rinsing your seeds uh, twice a day for several days. But we'll watch these, we'll do them together, and we'll see how they look tonight. We're going to just, I splashed them. We're going to just let these sit and uh, soak in this water and we'll see how they look and I'll come back to you later tonight and we'll check them out. All right, I'll be back. Thanks. Welcome back to the kitchen. Okay, our sprouts have been in this jar now soaking for probably about six hours and you can see they're kind of puffed up. They're not tiny like they were. Um, sorry the lighting's bad in here, but they're a little swollen and puffed up and that's what we want. We want the water to permeate that hard outer shell on those. So what we're going to do next is we're going to drain them and we can just tip it up and drain them like that and then we're going to rinse them. Now from now on we're not going to let water sit on them. We're just going to rinse them. That's distilled water I'm using, some clean distilled water. Swish them around, empty the water out, and then I have a bowl here. We want to leave this inverted so that excess water will drain. Um, so we're gonna put this in a bowl that will hold it like that so that it'll be on a tilt. And we're gonna let it sit until tomorrow morning. I'm going to rinse and drain these tomorrow twice. Tomorrow morning and then tomorrow evening. And uh, I'll check back with you as soon as I see some sprouts happening. And uh, we'll get this going. Thanks. Good morning. Um, we're back with the sprouts. It has been four days and look at our sprouts. Aren't they pretty? They're kind of clumped in here, but I have been rinsing them. Um, now they've all grown about as much as they're going to grow. I could have actually put more in this jar, uh, but I didn't. 
and it always depends on what kind of sprouts you're growing. Um, but I'm going to set these now. I've kept these in a dark place over here on the other side where they didn't get direct sunlight from the window. But on the last day now, I'm going to set these out where they're going to get sunlight. We're supposed to have sunshine today. So I'm going to set these here and let them green, and they will, they'll green up, get really green. So I'm going to let these sit here in the sun, and then we'll come back when I get home from work, and we're going to make a little salad out of them so you can see the, hopefully see the difference when we get home. Uh, hopefully my light is good. Um, here, it's not... See if this lighting is better. It is. Okay. Sorry about that. So, um, after I set these out, you can look at them, and then we'll make a quick little salad out of them for dinner tonight. Thanks. Hi, friends. Welcome back to the kitchen. I want to finish up with the little sprouts that um, I showed you this morning. See, I set them in the sunshine today. See how green they are? They're beautiful, and they're packed full of nutrition. So I'm, I have rinsed these several times, um, and I am going to take them out. There's a few that didn't sprout in there. Um, I'm not going to use those, but I'm going to take the sprouted ones and put them in my bowl and kind of pull them apart with my fingers. We're going to make a nice little salad for dinner tonight. Um, you know, we often think a salad is lettuce, onion, tomato, you know, the typical traditional salad, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, we've got our sprouts in the bowl, and we're going to put some chickpeas in there. I'm going to use about a half a can for the amount of sprouts that I have. Um, you can throw in any herbs and spices that you have. I actually have some Thai basil I'm going to throw in there. And I have a little bit of jalapeno. That'll be good and spicy. And I have some green onion, diced green onions that I'm going to put in there. Just a little bit. Okay. We're going to toss that with a dressing. I actually made my own dressing, um, which I'll do another video on making your own dressing. Because if you're still buying store-bought dressing, I encourage you to look at your ingredients in it and see what kind of oils you're eating. This one I've made with extra virgin olive oil, two parts of that to one part red wine vinegar. That's one of my favorites. But then I've added some other stuff to it for flavor, and we'll talk about that in another video. So I'm just going to coat the, or, you know, toss this with this just a little bit and make a nice little salad here to go as a side with my dinner. So, you can kind of pull, the little sprouts tend to want to clump together, so when you use a fork to toss this, you can um, pull them apart. Now, you might want to add more salt to this, but my dressing does have salt and pepper in it, so I will taste it first before I add the salt and pepper, but look how pretty that is. That'll make a nice side salad for our dinner tonight. So I hope you'll like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this recipe. And if you enjoyed learning how to grow sprouts if you haven't ever done it before. Um, this is one of my go-tos for winter when the garden, I can't get greens out there. And, you know, you just get hungry for something really green. So I love this. Um, and we'll be eating this tonight. So anyway, like, subscribe, and share if you would, please. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.